Oh, here is a breaking news. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo the EVR. We have a really interesting breaking news. Normally I would not do a video about a rumor, but this one is really important. So guys, we're talking about the upcoming Valve headset. So I know the people really want it. I have hundreds of comments over the last years about uh, the, the next uh, Index 2 or uh, Deckard or Steam Frame or however it's called. And now there is a really interesting leak. So they say um, XR Research Institute um, that the mass production will be now. It's just started. What the heck? <laughs> this is insane, right? Um, so, and the next thing, it, it's not only starting now, the release will be this year, 2025. Oh my God. So when I look on my calendar, we have October. Yeah? And we only have like two or three months left. <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. So. Um, we, we, why do I do a video about a rumor? Because I think this one could really be true now. Because there's a lot of hints um, that, that would say this is true. I mean, in the past we've seen a lot of things. Valve uh, had uh, the, um, yeah, the the leaks of, in their code, like we had the name, Wolf Deckard. Um, they also signed some patents, right? We, we have some patents uh, um, seen, so uh, we know that, for example, it's wireless and all that stuff. We also have the leak uh, of, of the controllers, the so-called ROY controllers. Uh, when, I, when I zoom it a little bit, uh, we, we see that we have like this cross here, and then we have A, B, X, Y. That means we, we have two controllers in one. This is like the functionality of an Xbox controller or, or so, and a gamepad, and also um, VR controllers. That's insane, right? We have two buttons here as well. So this is interesting. And the next thing that really tells me this could be true is the fact that they applied for the trademark Steam frame just one month ago. So this is really pointing towards a release soon, right? Um, the name Steam frame, this suggests that of course we will be able to play um, flat games, like 2D games on a big flying screen, right? Um, so we can um, play games like uh, I don't know, Tomb Raider or something like that, or, or, or what, whatever. At uh, 2D flat games, we will be able to play on a really huge screen. And we don't even need a gamepad because everything is included in the, in the uh, ROY controllers or Steam Frame controllers, whatever they are called. And then we can use it uh, with the two hands and then play, play games with it. Um, but of course, we will also be able to play um, the, the VR games, like uh, Half-Life Alyx, of course, with this headset. And um, this is going to be really interesting. And the rumors also say that it will be wireless. So this is interesting. Many people ask, I, have, I want a new index, but without cable and so on. Here you go. <laughs> um, we... We also have inside-out tracking, so no base stations, as it seems, the rumors say that. And so all the things that I mentioned, including the, the trademark of Steam Frame, they could really tell us this is true. This is true. And um, what do you think now? I mean, is this... this this is only in two and a half months, right? <laughs> and the, the next thing is, it's also very important, they estimate a production of 400,000 to 600,000 units per year. This is not much. This is like the production scale of Apple Vision Pro. And as we know, nearly nobody uh, wants to buy the Apple Vision Pro because it's so expensive. 
but on the other side, the interest is ultra high on the Steam frame or Wealth Deckard or Index 2. It's very high. I saw that over the last years, many, many comments. So what will likely be, ha uh, uh, what will likely happen is that when we can pre-order it, it, it will be sold out in five minutes maximum, right? So if you want, if you see that it's available, don't think about it for 10 minutes, not even five minutes, perhaps 10 seconds and then pre-order it, right? Because then I think we, we also had it with the index one when it was able to, uh, was available to, to um, pre-order. It was sold out like very fast, yeah, right? And then the next shipments would be like three, uh, three months later or something like that. And that was insane. So this is interesting, guys. So the question now is, what do we expect for the technical specifications. We don't know so much, but I mean, the old index was insane. It, it's still good. It has super good sound. The comfort is great. Yeah, and the field of view is big and so on. Of course, the lenses were not so good because of the God ray effects and also the resolution now is not really good. You see the pixels and so on. But wh where do they go now? So if you ask me, it will be a little bit better than the Quest 3, but not as good as, for example, a Pimax Crystal Super. So this is low end and high end. And um, if you ask me, so for example, we have the Quest 3 here and the Crystal Super here. And between that is a scale of 100. I would say it's like on 30, like here. Yeah, so better, the, a little bit better than the Quest 3, but not, uh, not nearly as good as the Pimax Crystal Super, something like that, because we have to note the price. So Pimax sells the, the premium headsets for like, what is it, like 1,600 euro or so, including tax or so. Valve uh, cannot do that. Nobody would buy it, right? So the, uh, the index one was like 100 euro, thousand dollars, something like that, I don't know. And um, they will not go much higher, I'm sure. And also we have to um, keep in mind that we don't have the base stations anymore. I think one base station was 150 bucks. So we had to spend 300 bucks only on the base stations and now we don't need them. So normally the price should be around 700, right? But I don't think they will do it. They also have costs and so on. So I think that uh, uh, Steam frame will be around 800 to 1000, something between this. What do you think? Uh, this is my opinion. So guys, now the discussion is opened. Please write me in the comments. What do you think? What do you expect? What should the Steam frame have so that you buy it? And what headset will it replace? Please write it in the comments below. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya.